Are you looking for a few cards to finish up that new brew? Well, you can pick them up and support the show by visiting our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Don't panic. You're watching Babelfish, a repository for all knowledge and wisdom of the MTG multiverse. Greetings, humans. It's Fletcher. And today, we'll be cracking the 50-pack pre-order special of Throne of Eldraine on MTG Arena with the magnetic and multi-talented Carolyn Page. Join us on this pre-release weekend as we discuss the lore, cards, mechanics, and value of the set while seeing who can brew, build, and womp the other with the most on-point, flimsical, fairy tale spiced deck. Woo! Let's start the show. Hey everybody, I'm Carolyn Page, a uh, College Humor cast member and the host of Dropout Gaming. You can check me out streaming three times a week. It's me like versus a speedrunner trying to beat like a Dark Souls boss before they beat the entire game or r role playing in a World of Warcraft server or playing Magic, doing all kinds of fun game stuff, which is a great time. New York or LA? I think we all know the answer. <laughs> New York, am I right? LA. LA. What? 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 It is a great time. And I like how um, it involves magic. And it really, I've, I've seen so much more magic content on the internets and in more mainstream platforms. Yeah. Like so I, when I started at this office, I was like, great. Uh, a bunch of nerds finally going to have some more friends to play magic with. Got here. No one really played Magic at all, so I've been slowly trying to convert like everyone to play Magic. I've got the Drawfee people, like we're all talking about Magic, we're cracking packs, you know. So I'm tr I'm sl I'm trying to up the up the volume of Magic <laughs> to subversively make this entire business about Magic slowly but surely. One day, <laughs> one day it will happen. Yeah. What was the hook that really got you into playing Magic on a regular basis? Really interested in it. I've always been like a big fantasy story person and like the lore I think is what hooked me really like the emergent narratives that come out of every game. Just like, I remember, I think the first, the first game I played that I was just like knew I was super in love with magic. It was, I think it was in Zendikar and there was like a big, like someone had just cast like two big octopus creatures and then the field got destroyed and it just like a bunch of skittering like scions and just the visuals of that was so enthralling and so i love it well we're definitely cracking some lore with throne of eldraine here <laughs> yeah uh, and doing some speed building and making some interesting narratives here so lore wise are you up mm -hmm. to date with the story of throne of eldraine so i'm currently reading the ebook mm-hmm which I'm loving and really enjoying. I've in the past I've had a lore podcast that I'm thinking about restarting in a couple months once I get set up in LA. We'll see how that goes. But I'm just I just love this story so much. It's very fun. Obviously we're all like kind of familiar with the lore from this set because it's based off of these really common, huge pop culture Western fairy tales. Um, but like getting into the specifics of the lore is very exciting. I really love the the queen and king in this and just like that the true like hero's journey of this set I think is really uh beautiful and very fun. And those gingerbread little guys from the uh commercial are so cute. No, that, That's yeah. lore we can all get behind. Tasty gingerbread lore. Well, speaking of food, there's definitely oh. food as a mechanic of this set. Um mm -hmm. along with adamant and Yes. Um, knights, nobles, and adventures. So I'd be yeah. curious. Uh, we both, you know, thanks to Wizards for the uh, fifty for fifty fifty packs for fifty dollar <laughs> sale. I don't know what to call it. It's not like yeah. we're not lucky enough to be in a in a in a streaming event. Maybe maybe next time. Wizards, Definitely we can next do that. time. But we uh, did crack the fifty packs for fifty bucks. I was pretty I was pretty satisfied with what I opened up. Okay. Oath Sworn Knight, Midnight Clock, Mirror Maid. We got a castle. That's great. Clackbridge Troll, Return of Garrick, and another castle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next ten. So many wild cards. Wicked Wolf. 
Two colors, two green. When Wicked Wolf enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Sacrifice a food and put a plus one, plus one counter on Wicked Wolf. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Oh good, we got a beast. Love struck beast. Three mana, five, five. Heart's Desire creates a 1-1 one, one white human creature token, but it cannot attack unless you control a 1-1 one, one creature. Another castle, giant killer, stolen by Fae. Ooh, and the Great Hinge, plus another Oath Sworn Knight. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so here we are inside of the deck builder. We're going to take a look at these uh, Throne of Eldraine cards, and we're going to put together a 60-card uh, fun and flavorful deck to battle against the almighty Carolyn Page wizard. Uh, it's going to be a true planeswalker duel to the death, featuring fairy tale legends and knights of the round table. So blue's looking okay. When I was cracking up the packs, I think black was definitely looking great. Witch's Cottage. When it enters the battlefield untapped, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. I'm definitely thinking black will be a lot of fun, and the cards seem to be on flavor. Um, Cauldron Familiar, it's a kitty cat, black cat. You can sacrifice a food to, move, to return from the graveyard to the battlefield. So we could have a food theme going on. Okay. Could do black green. So the food theme looks good. Okay. Rat maker. Rats for Brankle. Prankle Mankle. Well, I went, um,. <laughs> Black, green, good stuff is what I kind of stuck with because I wanted to do food and I wanted to um, have some nights and I opened up uh, a decent amount of, uh, you know, solid black rares and green rares and the big trolls that want to eat food. Overall, though, I thought it was a pretty good deal for, you know, basically a pack per dollar. But uh, I'd be curious yeah. what, what you opened and what you were kind of looking to build. I was honestly looking to see if I could really make a seven dwarves deck. Like I wanted those seven dwarves. I think I only got three or four, so that didn't happen. <laughs> but I did weirdly open up a ton of the rare lands. I got all the castles except for the green castle. <laughs> Seven dwarves. Nice. We got our first seven dwarves. I know it's a common, but it's like, <laughs> let me do it. It'll be so fun. Oh, look at those bananas. Wow. Look at those bananas. All right. I'm in, Eldrain. Let's go. Curly bananas. I'm just wondering how the speed of this set, like, is it going to be fast? Is it going to be slow? You know, how it's going to play out? Because it's still early days. Ooh. That food token. I don't know if I like this one as much as the curvy bananas. Bridge of the Veil. Oh, Ooh, yeah, Order of Midnight. Heck yeah. Another, we've gotten three of our rares have been lands, but that's okay because we still have 39 packs to open, so. Yeah. Worthy Knight. Another one, great. Enchanted Carriage. Oh, look at the mouse. <laughs> So cute. It's making Cinderella's dress. Oh. Okay, Sir Aelin, the Lion's Claw, chill, chill, chill. Oh, nice. Linden, the Steadfast Queen. I'm reading the ebook right now and it's awesome. Whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life. What? We're getting all good white cards. Okay. Whatever you say, magic gods, whatever you say. I want to start with this mono white deck. I want to see if I can do it. I want to see like if these adamant cards are any good. Okay, we're going to be kind of low to the ground. Okay, this is going to be crazy. Let's toss a cow in there. Let's get crazy. Let's toss a worthy knight in there. Let's toss a youthful knight in there. You know what? Two worthy knights. Oh, and then we're done. So I think what we'll be able to do is really kind of build our own fairy tale here with uh, with our Eldraine battle. And we'll see if we can have a kind of silly narrative going on here with uh, these new cards. Awesome. Let's play some games. Let's play some games. <laughs> okay. All right, we're in here. So I'd be curious what deck you picked. Um, I think mine looks okay. I'm going to make a bunch of uh, food trails for you to follow right to my witch's cabin <clears throat> and you will be in trouble we'll see if that holds up against the might of Ardenvale 
Oh, Ardenvale. I like right, how we're both keep. a Johnny. That's fun. Oh, I love a Johnny. <laughs> That's my default. Uh, I'll be playing like Redburn yeah. and have have the Johnny avatar and just doing. Oh whatever. my God, same. He's the coolest. <laughs> He's, He's like a one-eyed tiger lion man. Come on. Hmm. Well, forest. You got the princess. Can't be blocked by creatures of power three or greater. Okay. Yeah. Life link. All right. She's a beloved princess. So well, I don't know. I didn't quite. I kind of ended up throwing some like creatures that I wouldn't normally include in my deck uh, because I didn't quite have enough like great white cards. So mm -hmm. hopefully. Well, yeah. We we we. So so viewers know we didn't craft anything. It was just building right off of the uh, the solid fifty cards. So it's like whenever I opened up a wild card, I was like, oh, yay. Yeah, I opened up two Mythic Rare wild cards. So, you know, they'll become something good someday, but for now. Not tonight. Not tonight. Oh, I got a swamp. You have a worthy knight that whenever you cast a knight spell, you get to make a 1-1 one, one white human creature. So I feel the pressure. I feel the wave of uh, creatures coming on here. Oh. I'm going to do adventure again and make a food token. For all your one ones to follow into uh, into my little trap here, and also the make food a tokens? Uh -huh. which is up. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> this is very literally flavorful. The food tokens like vary a lot in their yumminess. Looking, Do I they? think the best looking food token I've seen is there's one with like curly bananas. They're like corkscrew bananas. They look really. I would I would try that. You would you would eat that. This looks pretty good. The tart that. and the croissant. And the yeah. Pop <laughs> <laughs> so I've got this idyllic Grange, and like I need to play a land this turn, but I don't know if. Well, if you got to play it, you got to really... play it. What's nice about these tap lands is that they are still considered planes, so they add to your planes count. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So if I have another, that's true. That's a good point. Um. Yeah, and then I think I'm gonna do this. Giant killer. I'm gonna put that giant killer in there. Cool. So that's I neat. I didn't know for adventure. adventure but... I thought you had to do the adventure part first and then cast a creature, but that's not the case. You can just cast the creature if you if you prefer. Yeah, yeah, you can cast it straight away. It's like pr incredible value. <laughs> and and then if it returns to your graveyard and you have a way to get it back into your hand, you can mm -hmm. recast the adventure, which is just like, are you kidding me? It seems good, really good. All right, we're going to pass and take two. I think that is okay. All right. So I also have a Witch's Cottage. I have to play tap for for no value, but that is, that is okay. <laughs> you got the Witch's <laughs> Oven, Witch's Cottage, the little... I know you've got those little curious pear in your hand. Here comes oh, the pear. There they come. So uh, we're going to pass again and try to gum this up. All right. Oh, no way. No, the queen. The queen is here. Linden. She's chill. So how far did you make it in the ebook? Um, I think they just, the, the Will and Rowan just left for their grand adventure. Oh, I don't want to attack with you. Um, or do I? I think it's all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Gain one, gain two. All right. All right. Well, I think I'm fine with going to blockers, and I will trade with that. Okay. Oh, my giant killer. Killed too soon. Too soon. Before his time. He climbed too close to the sun. But that does turn off my love struck beast. He's got no way to fall in love with. Sad face. <laughs> Oh. Um, he can block though, right? He can only not attack. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. That's a good card, huh? For three? That's five, five for three. Crazy. So we're gonna put the beast down. Okay, that's that's crazy. Oh my god, that's that's truly wild. But oh no. 
All right, you get a knight token. Yeah, the knight's been the... called in to fell the beast. So the adamant is... And is a battlefield plus a plus counter. Okay. Yeah. That's still not bad, though. Not bad. Four mana for three six is... I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't think I'll be attacking uh, as much as I want to get greedy and gain a bunch of life. Swinging into a 5-5 five, five generally isn't a great idea. Oh, I'm short a green. What does this witches ever do? You can sacrifice a creature. If it's power or toughness is four good, you get two foods. Does that food look yummy to you? The uh, This food? Uh, no, I thought at first that in the scone, I thought it was like flies. So I didn't, that didn't look good to That's me. That's blueberries. If you hover over the witch's oven, I think you see this really sad looking uh, pie face thing. Oh, Which... oh, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, um, yeah. Honestly, it does look kind of good to me. <laughs> like that's a crispy meat pie sounds so good. But the but the spooky face is, uh, should warn you off of eating that. Ooh. We got a... Okay. So four four with four counters. If it takes damage, you remove a counter. Love but that. Other than that, I'm gonna pass. Pass back to you. Very flavorful. I mean, let's go. Jeez. We've got okay. another paladin coming in. Yeah, you got you got a thick board. Yeah, it's looking good. This is this is a decent board state. Not gonna still not gonna attack though. I'll leave that up to you. So I need to get, uh, I gotta get, I got a double green spell in my hand. That would be pretty, pretty dope, but I'm, uh, stalling out on my green here. <laughs> um, well, I guess we'll just keep, keep playing critters. So I have a savvy hunter. Very savvy. I can generate food if it attacks or blocks and can then sack food to draw That's two cards. That's pretty cool. The one thing that bothers me is that the food is an artifact like that's a little weird to me i almost wish they had made a new like mm -hmm. mechanic in that way for it like a new card type but it's okay i'll accept it all right well i didn't read my card correctly the knight has to attack that's not an option oh attacks each combat if able okay i mean yeah mm -hmm. the paladin <coughs> That seems... Oh, that's interesting. So I treated each as a damage source. Oh! For your two blockers. So it removed oh, two counters. Wow. I thought it was just going to remove one counter, but... I thought it was going to kill it, but that's really, really good. Anyways, here's another knight. Four knights. Heck yeah. This is, this is the board state that you want. Well, I'm gonna. I have an end step trick if we make it there, past your attack. All right. Oh, no. So I, I think I really want to hit, hit my other green. So I'm going to, not the best play, but we are going to sacrifice, the knight. It's gonna lose some value here, but I do want that second food token because, I really want to draw, two cards. Sure. Or draw a card. Aha! Yes. All right. That's pretty sweet. That it can sack those food tokens. Like this hunter. So savvy. All right. So I have the Great Hinge. Oh, what? The the awesome portal, I think, in the story where they, uh, they go traveling to different places. So the Great oh. Hinge. Legendary artifacts. Tap to gain two green and two life whenever a non- Token creature enters the battlefield under your control. Put a plus one plus one counter on it and draw a card. So cool. So cool. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think we'll play play a spider. Skullcap spider. And I don't think we can do it. We can't make any moves yet. So we're gonna go ahead and pass it back. If you have any kind of mass tap, and then that would definitely uh, do me in here. That would be that would be nice. Um, hmm. This isn't a mass tap, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Silver Flame Ritual. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Yeah. Begin Vigilance. Okay. Well, that's not bad. They're all they're all bigger now for sure. They are all bigger now. But what am I gonna do with them? Well, one, two, three, four, 
I mean, yeah, I think if you did an alpha strike, you'd probably put me down to like five or something. And I'd be gaining a lot. You would be gaining a lot. Doing all of them, but then I don't want to lose my queen. I don't want to lose, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot you could lose. I don't know. I mean... I'd probably I alpha strike I'm... it up and let me worry about the math. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll stay for now. Okay. Fair enough. We'll see how this plays out. That's so gross. Taps for two and you gain two life? Oh, yes. That's wild. And you cast that for four last turn. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm surprised how easy that was to get up to, um... Yeah. I mean, Love Struck Beast in combination with that is so good. This is crazy. Oh, rats, huh? No, uh-uh. That's... This, the rats are very cute, though. They look very cute. Oh, no! Yeah, we're going for the Adventure Forest portion. Oh, no. Now we have three Vale is threatened right now. More food. Yum. We got the cabin, we got the witch's house. Can't cast that. I'll take that. that little pop tart in there though. That looks pretty good. We're gonna pass. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I mean. So Charming Prince, and you get to, I think he blinks himself, right? X on another target creature you control, return to the battlefield. All right, so you get to choose one. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna choose to scry. Good choice. Because I don't really have any ETBs here. Okay, you can go to the bottom. Well, so far, this set feels pretty fun. It's like you have a lot of choices to do. Yeah. Uh, and that's always good. Because even though we're kind of stalled on the ground here, we're both working towards something. Yeah. And it also um, also makes me think that I was right about another prediction that I had, which is that this is going to be a slow format, which I'm very excited about. Like, I want... We're, this hasn't been the most interactive game right now, but that might just be, like, the colors we're playing, you know. We were only playing with the cards that we had, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's, like, uh, we get some long, epic games out of this format. Yeah, do you, do you play a lot of uh, limited or sealed? Um, I'll play uh, I'll play draft when I've grinded enough coins on mm -hmm. arena, and uh, and then I, I usually only play sealed when I at, when I'm at pre-release. Okay. But then sometimes you know sometimes you just have to buy a box and like play at home. Yeah, well, I'm working on a. The whole reason I started a family was to uh, have offspring to then train them how to play Magic the Gathering. So Exactly. Teaching kids to play Magic is so fun. But, oh, uh, man. My son is in kindergarten. He is learning to read and do math, so I fear it's only a couple more years. We start buying boxes and cracking to, to play in the Heck kitchen yeah. table. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Buttered yeah, cow. I, I wish yeah, that was buttered this was, cow. This was one that I put in there, and I was just like, uh, gotta, gotta meet those, that 60 card <laughs> minimum. All right, we're gonna make a rat. Okay. Wow. And... That's not a rat noise. <laughs> no, that's, right, that's not a rat noise. <laughs> that's a cat noise, I guess. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, we don't have the best sound effects here, but, uh, we have sound effects. <laughs> They're wrong. They're all for the wrong animals. <laughs> They're all the wrong animals. And then a cow came in and was like, roar! Oh. No, no, it's wrong. How can I get through? The giant could maybe get through. Uh, let's see what happens. We're going to we're gonna send the giant in to see what you do. Well, you've got a lot of open mana there. Sure do. A lot of cars, a lot of open mana. Um, does he have trample or anything? No trample, so you totally can just chump. Or take nine, I guess. Hmm. I will. Up. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's see what happens next. I don't know. That's scary. All that mana open. <laughs> uh, we will. Mm -hmm. No, knight. just keep in mind you could always sack that. 
giant and make two food tokens. Just saying. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> so the Great Hinge is disgusting as far as a card that you, you don't even have to use that green mana to cast a creature spell with. You just tap it for two to gain two life. Yeah, that's that's wild. Okay. To combat, to combat, to combat, we go. Okay. So you gain two. Oh, go to blockers. All right. So we definitely want to get the savvy hunter in here. Can't block. I I can't block with anybody, right? Or can I block with? This guy can block. Four seven. Double block. So I'll block the princess with the spider, the princess and the spider, and then the beast and the hunter. We'll team up against uh, Gaston. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Get a food token. Resolve that. Okay. And we're gonna oh, go on yummy. a quick adventure. Paladin's gonna go in a quick. Ah, plus two, plus adventure. two, and untap. Yeah. Okay. So I guess so. We will we will also go on an adventure and do plus oh. two, plus two. I'll give you the choice of who you want to kill. Whoa. Uh, not the rat. How how big is your team? Uh, how big is it? One, well, how, no, I'm sorry. Uh, non magic related. How how big is your uh, your production team that you, that you work with? Oh um, well, uh, there's six of us on the video team, um, but there's more out in LA. And I'm not sure how many like employees total, but that's cool. But all six of you are moving out to LA. Yeah, that's it's awesome. It's gonna be it's gonna be real cool. I hope. <laughs> I, I I'm driving awesome. cross country uh, to get out there. So that's going to be pretty fun. Hmm. Two rats. Keep crashing with the giant. Got the savvy hunter. Death touch. Okay, I think we're going to just keep going to combat. He has to attack. Attacks. That's about it. Two more, just two more big boys coming in. Okay. Two more big boys coming in. Uh, I feel like I can't let big boy. Don't try and kill it. Why not? Because why you can't kill you can't kill the jolly green giant. Uh, I think I must <laughs> kill the jolly green giant. I've got a I've got a. How many is this? Five. Uh, that's seven, eight, nine. Oh, Two more. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Okay, two, five, six, nine. So that'll definitely all trade. They will bounce and trade. Okay, I think we can just we'll let all this math happen. We'll let the machine. Oh, did, I do, oh, did I do my math wrong? No, you did it right. Two, five, seven, eleven. Okay, that's I think it's so. gonna be. I think, I think everything's just gonna trade. Unless I did my unless I did my math wrong, but I don't think so. But now, haha! I get a food token. <laughs> The boars oh, and pheasants. <laughs> All right. That well, evened out the board state a little bit. We got a gilded goose. Oh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Oh, have you played that duck game that's been going around? That uh. Untitled goose game or whatever? <laughs> no, I haven't played it. I just I've been playing the uh, Dragon's Quest Eleven demo. Ah. Uh. And Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, that's a lot of games. Yeah. And today I played GTA V on stream. What? So it's all. And now I'm playing Arena. I play oh, video man. games all day. <laughs> it's great. The Great Henge is so gross. It's ridiculous. And this is probably the only reason why I'm actually playing it here. Like, that's so nasty. <laughs> I hope I open it up at pre release because that's like, whoop. Are you going to pre-release this uh, this weekend? I uh, I don't know. Maybe if I can get um, uh, if I can get some time, it's gonna be so much easier for me once I can actually get my son to like doing it. But luck, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably what will happen is he'll end up hating uh, hating playing Magic. 
Sure. <laughs> I tried to teach a. I did teach a, an eight year old to play magic one time, and he loved it. Yeah. He had a, he had a good time playing it. I mean, what do I even? Well, you got a flyer. I finally got a flyer. Yeah, you've got that reach, that reachy spider. Mm-hmm. I just can't in good conscience attack. Oh my god, I love I love games where you've been playing for like X amount of time and we both have higher than starting life total. <laughs> like that's so rad. I don't think I have anything I can attack with. He's gonna have to attack. All right, we're gonna bake your paladin into a pie. No! Oh! <laughs> Ew! Really oh yeah, that's out. good. It's nice that the food, the different food tokens, like go in. Like this is definitely the baked into a pie token. It's so haunted. Uh huh. No way. Oh man. I think just well, this guy can come in too. So he'll trade with something. Oh no! Mistakes were made. It's this guy. Uh, I think he's just a fourth. Three. Oh, Garen Brig Carvers is to 4-3. I think they're all just... He, uh, the Falmire Knight has Death Touch. So that's a that's a fair trade with the Prince. They will... Uh, yeah, that They're going to hug like, it out and kill, and kill each other. That seems good, yeah. And then... I mean... Oh, gosh. I'm just going to do that one block and take eight. Okay. You still have your queen. I still have my queen. And who knows what I'll, what I'll top deck into. The, the world is my oyster. The hey, world Adam. is my food token. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, I know what's coming back. Giant, the giant's gonna come back. <laughs> oh no. That's bad news for the realm. Pass the turn. Um, okay, okay. I know what I must do. Attacking him for three. Uh, I think yes. Go to blockers. And I'll block. See what happens. I'll sack this. Free token. Buy free token. I'll eat it up. And then we'll move to damage. They'll so, just bounce. So you got four of that eight back. I'm gonna make a rat. So you have three blockers open, one card in hand. You got one, two, three. Okay. I think we're gonna go for it. So play land for fun. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go all in. See what happens. Okay. This is either a, a great idea or a terrible mistake. Oh, I. Uh, okay. Okay, so we can go there, we can go there, we can go here, we can go here. Am I still going to lose? That's three, four, eight, ten, fourteen, yes, maybe not. One, two, three, five, nine, eleven, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, I'll be barely hanging in there. We're gonna return to the wild speak. Garrick's gonna throw off his curse and plus three, plus three all the non humans. Whoa! Oh, do, 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 do. So I think oh, that should do it. That's bad news. Just for fun, we'll make the big goose even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the goose is I loose. Think your, your card advantage definitely won out on this. I was hurting, you know, the giant, uh, if, you, if you kept the giant tapper, that would have been bad news. But without the, even I think if you kept him, the henge would have, would have just put it, put me over the top. Because that, you just can't beat that card advantage. Yeah, that's, that's wild. I mean, yeah, that's great, that's great. That combo is unbeatable. Oh, 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 that's brutal. Well done. A Johnny versus a Johnny. Only one a Johnny will win. <laughs> yeah, so wow. Food tokens, <laughs> big creatures, Garrick breaking his chains and the curse and then smashing in. But I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was awesome. You ate me out of house and like siege to <laughs> Castle Ardenvale and then 
took our food, cut off our food resources, and we all starved to death. Just like the trailer. I don't think it actually worked out just like the trailer. We got all the little <laughs> food crumbs in there, and then Garrett came in and just <laughs> Exactly. And we just recreated the trailer. It was It was perfect. No, that was awesome. That was so fun. I think so far my theory of like mono decks being great is not happening, but we'll see. We'll see where there's a lot of format left to uh, left to go. So, so it's pre-release weekend. Woo! We got to do a little pre-release here on Arena. I know you're gonna yeah. be playing some paper this weekend, so hopefully, oh, uh, so much. you get to open up some bombs and have some fun with uh, your friends. I hope and I, I hope I open up that hinge. That thing's crazy. I think the hinge or the cauldron or any any of those big artifacts you can reduce the cost yeah. on and just get out. It's yeah. Just, that is what you want. That's wild. And I love cards that come out and instantly break Commander. Just like, oh, this is like totally changing the meta with one card. I love it. What is your what is your favorite Commander uh, deck or card currently? Um, currently, well, I just built a, a Goblin, um, a Rakdos Goblin tribal with Grenzo, which is really fun. It's just like, uh, for the flavor of that one, just like a million goblins just blah, 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 running at you. But overall, uh, my favorite commanders are the Gitrog monster, like classic. That was the first deck I built. I've been working on it for many years, so it's very spicy. And uh, Sharam the Hegemon, my Esper artifact, like blink deck, is so fun, and I love to play it. And then uh, recently I've been working on a Lavinia deck that I call the no-no deck because I have no win condition, but I have a you can't win condition. And I just, I turn two winter orb is like the sweetest play to set up a six hour game of magic. And I love it. I love that. (laughs) But you definitely have to check. I love the look of fear in my friend's eyes whenever I play it, which is, I mean, that's why we play, right? Mm -hmm. To instill (laughs) fear in your friends. I think that is exactly exactly why we, why why, why we play magic. And someday your children. (laughs) <laughs> one can only hope right <laughs> yeah so uh yeah carolyn like what is next for you what are you uh, going to be working on in the coming months so after i totally crush and take the first uh top spot at this pre-release this weekend um i'm gonna be continuing to stream uh on dropout live we're streaming dropout gaming we're doing three times a week super fun um and then just looking forward to like doing some sketch stuff and um, playing a lot of Magic, finding a new play group out in LA. So hit me up if you want to play some Commander <laughs> and you're out in LA. And uh, yeah, living the dream. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to hang out with me and play some Throne of Eldraine. I think. Um, Thank you. I think you're a lot of fun. You're really cool. And hopefully, we get to see some more from you and some more from Dropout TV in the coming, Absolutely. In the coming months. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. All right. Bye. Bye. Walking. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.